Yes, Gemma! Woohoo! <laughs> What's going on? Uh, we've come to Gnalia this evening um, to check out, it's meant to be quite smooth and quite nice dropping off a little bit later so we thought we'd come and get an evening flight while the sun's setting maybe. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a lot of people up uh, so it looks like it's quite nice and they're quite high as well so might be a bit too strong maybe for me to try but um, I might wait a little bit and then try in a few minutes and see if I can get up for yes. a few flights. <laughs> what do you think? Well, if you check this guy out, he's not going forward very fast, and there's other pilots that are really far out and look like they're struggling to lose height, so I think it's a bit too strong for me at the moment. I might go down and have a look at the bottom and see what the landing field's like and, uh, well, landing field, I say, landing beach is like and see whether or not it's worth uh, trying a bit of ground handling first. Sounds good. Maybe. And we've got... No. Nope. Nada. Nada. Yeah, it's just the Venturi effect up there. So what's the verdict? No winds down here. Like two mile an hour? Yeah, um, so maybe it's just a case of waiting for it to drop down further up. Uh, people look a bit lower now and there's some people that have come down. There's not as many pilots in the sky, so. So? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it up on takeoff. Perfect! Have fun! 
So how was that? That was great. That was Welcome so back. That was honestly, the, I think, the longest I've done ever on here. Yeah. And um, yeah, not long after getting back as well. I'm quite chuffed with that. I'm quite glad that we uh, waited till, to, till kind of almost the sunset. Uh, because it was a bit strong, but it always kind of drops off and then it goes really glassy. So it wasn't turbulent at all, was it? It was really smooth. The only turbulence I got was from other people's wings, i.e. you. <laughs> Sorry. But there was another guy up there where a couple of times I did like a, whoa, god damn it. And then realized that they'd just got, either you or him had just gone past. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, I'm still a scaredy cat. I don't try anything new. I'm just literally like a, a ridge hugger yeah. and I'm probably a ridge hogger as well, which I need to stop doing. I know that. But um, it's just that I feel like I want to get good at just knowing when to turn and how to stay up before I start trying anything else. So I think that's exactly the right way to do it. Because what's the point of starting like wing overs and top landings if you haven't even had one or two or 10 hours of normal flying? Yeah, exactly. So definitely keep on that. We could have done ground handling, but we just haven't had the uh, conditions. But uh, the takeoff was really good. The landing was really good. I think you, this is the closest you've landed to where you wanted to land, isn't it? Yeah, as well? yeah, yeah. Yeah, the only thing I realized is as I was coming in and I was about to do my flare, I realized that there's this like little hump and it went back up again. And I thought, oh, I'm landing face, I'm landing running uphill <laughs> potentially, yeah. but it, I managed to just kind of run the other opposite direction. And yeah, it. so nice to fly together as well. And it's really nice. It just, it's so rarely happened that it was just like, it feels yeah. different. You're like, come on, follow me. Yeah. <laughs> right well as always uh, hope you enjoyed it and we want to thank uh, all these lovely people on patreon for supporting the channel uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one see you on the next bye. one bye